Louisiana Beer Reviews Perla Export. 5.6% alcohol. This is a 500 milliliter bottle. Premium Pills beer since 1846. The company was established 1846 uh, in, um, well, what's called Poland today, but back in those days, Poland was uh, occupied or part of the German Empire, the Russian Empire, and the Austrian Empire. So, um, I believe this town, Lubelski, was in the Prussian Empire. Okay, uh, Lublin. Imported by Mysura Trading Company. I had the chirp. It's a lower alcohol. It's the chirp. Merlova version and I had the honey version where the term Merlova might be 6% maybe the honey is 4.8 I can't remember it was years ago I bought them in New Jersey on a road trip I stopped at a liquor store on United States Highway 1 southbound because I was heading back home and I bought a bunch of Polish beers there and now this was sent to me from Virginia but he picked it up in New Jersey this was sent to me by Douglas thank you Douglas I appreciate it I believe Lublin was outside of the German Confederation because I think I'm almost certain that West Prussia and East Prussia were outside. They were owned by Prussia, the Kingdom of Prussia, obviously, but I think they were outside of the German Confederation and never part of the Holy Roman Empire. But anyhow, Be that as it may, it's a historic Eastern European brewery, thick white head, a clear golden appearance with some lazy bubble streams, most of the foam jet, jetted right to the top, carbonation. It's good to pour it like this because it releases esters that enhance the drinking experience with the aroma notes and it gets the carbonation up here so that it's not all inside your belly. And people say, well, it makes the beer go flat. doesn't make the beer go flat. Uh, rich, crackery, barley malt, like you get with these European Pilsners. And the, the Pilsner style was developed only four years before this brewery was founded. And that was in the kingdom of Bohemia which is definitely one of the Austrian Habsburg kingdoms to 1918, and definitely inside the German Confederation. Some bitterness. It seems a little low for a Pilsner, honestly. I find that with these Polish Pils beers, they're never up to the standard of a Czech, which used to be the Kingdom of Bohemia, you know, Bohemia and Moravia, the Czech beers or the German uh, Pilsners. I just find that uh, maybe the Polish people prefer the sweeter and less bitter beers. So to me, and I don't think this uses any corn or rice adjunct. I'm pretty certain it does not. But to me, um, they more just like a Euro pill, I mean a Euro lager, a Euro pale lager than a Pilsner, but let's give it a second chance. Medium bodied, dry finish. Sweetness scale, oh, two out of five sugar cubes. Bitterness scale, two out of five hop cone C. And I think a Pilsner should be three and three, three and a half to four. Three at the low end, four at the high end. Uh, on hop cones 
you know. And I'm thinking the IBUs on this, if it's 20, I'll be shocked. Could be, doubt it. And I think a good Pilsner should be at 30, 30, 33, 34, uh, bitterness units. Is but the so the style um, it's kind of like Carlsberg, you know. Um, when you drink it, it's saying Pilsner, and then you're thinking like it's a good flavor, but really Pilsner? I don't know. Any all, all these American beers, you know, Miller Light, a fine Pilsner beer. Might be a fine light beer, uh, adjunct light beer, but Pilsner? Uh, yeah, no. Um, have I had some good American Pilsner beers? Yes. Uh, mostly from obscure craft beer companies. And they were great up to the Euro level, but most people can't find them. So if you get an American beer that says Pilsner, or Pilsner style, I wouldn't believe it. I mean, you could try it, but if you think that's the Pilsner style, it isn't. It's just a sweet American beer. This one's the same way. It tastes okay. Mm. It's even a little metallic. Curious to see all the video reviews. The ones in English. There's some so many foreign language. It's green label. I mean, well, partly green label. Green, red, and gold. It's got a goat on it, jumping up and pawing the uh, the, the hop cones. It's cute. Goat, 5.6. It is more of a Hellas Bach, honestly. If they called it Perla Export Hellas Bach, premium Hellas Bach, I could go along with that. But enough rant and, and raving about that. Green bottle, it'll help protect it from skunking, but not as much as brown. But it, in, in any case, there's no skunking. I found the Ukrainian Pilsners were better. If that's what they were. They had a richer flavor than the Ukrainian beers I tried. Mm. Polish beers, well, the Zivietch, that Imperial Porter, that was like 9%. That was awesome, you know, it was most excellent. Outstanding, actually. But a lot of Polish beers are, to me, they're not that good. And that's not a knock against Poland. It's just what I've experienced. Uh, the Varka Strong, it was strong. But... I mean, you know, it's like Colt 45. I mean, it's good. I don't know, but it's left. I don't know. I probably would give Colt 45 a higher score because Colt 45 didn't have that weird twang thing that Varka Strong had. But I like to try more Polish beers. Well, naturally, I like to try all Polish beers, but um, that's not going to happen. Okay, last sip, and then I'm going to give it a score. Thanks again, Doug. It's marginally good. I'm going to go with 80 out of 100. 8 out of 10. A B minus, 79 would be a C plus, but I'm not going to go that low. So a B minus, it's a good beer, but um, that's all I can say about it. Um, that's just the way it goes, I guess. So lazy LA, bon ton relay, but barely with this one. And I'm going to end this review by saying... Y'all go to Lublin, Poland, and take a tour of the, the brewery Lubelski. Brewery Lubelski. <laughs>